end of season silverware is still very much on the cards at Cardiff City after our women's team saw off Wrexham ladies in the semi-final of the FAW Women's Cup last Sunday. Held on neutral ground at Victoria Park in Llanidloes, their passage to the final proved to be anything other than simple. City made a promising start when Lisa Bird set off on this powerful run to the left of the area, yet the resulting shot was disappointingly tame. Cardiff's first spot of defensive bother was their own doing, as Mali Summers mishit free kick from deep and did Becky Pritchard the chance to get the shot off, but Taylor Gould in the Bluebirds goal saved and reacted well. City were finding it difficult to clear their own lines, and another moment of hesitation allowed Wrexham captain Lindsay Roger the chance to fire home the opener just nine minutes from the break. Even so, Cardiff were mere inches from levelling prior to half time. Left back Shannon Evans with this awkward dip in free kick that caught the Wrexham keeper completely unawares, only to be cruelly denied by the crossbar. Seconds later, and it was City's turn to endure a set piece scare, but Gould again reacted well to a test in delivery to firmly punch clear and keep the deficit at just 1 0 with a half time whistle sounding. Evans again went close with a free kick from Cardiff in the early exchanges of the second half. Wrexham keeper Morgan diving low to turn the ball around the post. And it was Evans' quality again that brought about City's best opening in the 67th minute, when she delivered a pin-perfect cross from the left, which substitute Ellie Wenger could only direct high over the bar. With City desperately searching out an equaliser, Evans was now shifted up front and after Bird's vicious effort rebounded back off the post, she also struggled to keep her effort down. The pressure was now really mounting on the Wrexham back line, Evans showing a great turn of pace to be played in behind, but Morgan again stood tall to deny the initial effort. and comfortably claimed the secondary ball back in. Morgan was having an incredibly busy afternoon in the Wrexham goal and had to react quickly again to thwart Lisa Bird. But from the subsequent corner, she couldn't prevent the same player from powering home a header. One all in the final minute. Yet, there was still time for both teams to snatch a dramatic win, and time for both keepers to again prove their worth. Taylor Gould getting a vital punch on a Wrexham corner that was heading in via a City head. Whilst at the other end, Morgan still had to make one final save to turn away Bird's effort and force extra time. City's first opportunity of added time dropped to makeshift striker Evans, but she looped her half volley high and over. Wrexham's chance to take the lead passed when Gould gobbled up a firmly struck free kick, and then two minutes before half time, City forced the breakthrough. A lovely 1 2 between Powell and John on the right allowed the former to surge into the area and force a desperate final touch from the defender to turn the cross home for an own goal and a 2-1 Cardiff lead. Just a minute later and the lead was doubled. A fantastic piece of skill and finish from Lisa Bird, drawing in one defender and duking past another before driving the ball home low.
The North Williams came close to responding when Roger's mid-range effort floated just wide of Gould's left hand upright. But Cardiff sealed their place in the final in the last minute, when Bird was upended 25 yards out, and with a third finely struck free kick of the match, Shannon Evans finally found the back of the net. Full time, Cardiff City 4, Wrexham 1, and a result that sets the Bluebirds up to face Swansea City in the final, who saw off Kincoid Ladies 5-0 to book their place.